Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. Today we're going to talk about sound, or the lack thereof. Now you might think sound is a strange topic for a video blog in a blog series dedicated to tactical lighting. But when you think about the mission of tactical lighting, that it is in high stress environments that might be very quiet, whether they are escape evasion situations or a search for a subject in a very quiet environment or where the stress is so high you can literally hear your own heartbeat, you can understand why the tools that one uses need to be very quiet in operation. So we're going to talk about, again, the importance of a tactical flashlight being quiet in all aspects. While keeping the device quiet in operation is an important design feature and manufacturing quality feature of a good tactical flashlight, most manufacturers ignore this aspect of the design and manufacture altogether. Have a couple examples to show you from different manufacturers. This model, for example, has a click switch and when it's engaged, truly they earn the name click switch. Similarly, here's another popular flashlight. Again, very noisy, very loud that can certainly be heard, not only here on a video, but in a situation where stealth and silence is truly needed. Contrast that to the way Elzetta builds our modular flashlights. Now we use the terminology click switch, but it's simply because it's a common understood term in the way the switch latches, but it's certainly not gonna click loudly in operation. Now, some people might make the argument, oh, but I rely on that click to let me know a feedback that the flashlight has indeed latched on. The problem with that should be obvious. In tactical situations, sometimes you might need stealth, covert silence. Other times, you've got all kinds of chaos and gunshots firing. If you rely on a click audibly to let you know that your flashlight has turned on, you're going to be in bad trouble when things go really bad and bullets are flying. While switches account for the vast majority of noise that comes from most flashlights, another source of noise you should be aware of, for somewhat different reasons, is electrical noise that can be generated by either a poorly designed and or poorly manufactured LED flashlight. And this comes in more of a humming, droning sound or a buzzing sound that is often low enough in volume that you may have to hold it by your ear to even detect it. So while this kind of noise is unlikely to give your position away, escape or evasion, or let yourself be known in a search environment, it does indicate a problem with either the system design of the flashlight or the manufacturer or the components chosen for the circuit boards. Now, it doesn't just happen on inexpensive, cheap flashlights that you'll find at the hardware store. This flashlight, for example, retails for over $300. If you hold it by your ear, you can hear a very distinct humming or buzzing sound. Certainly not something you want in a quality electronic product. Hopefully this quick video blog has given you another thing to think about in terms of tactical flashlights. As you can see from looking at all of our different video blogs, there's a lot more to building and producing quality flashlights than most people think about. Elite tactical units, special operations force, are often called quiet professionals and they need their tools to be quiet as well. Make sure when you have a quality tactical flashlight, it is indeed quiet in all its operation. After all, light is to be seen, not heard.